Hello and welcome to Deadline Northeast, a program that gives you an overview of the developments in India's Northeast region. I'm your host Karim Zimik and here are the top stories of today's program. Myanmar hands over 22 most wanted Northeast insurgents to India. Assam government on high alert as coronavirus cases surge. Thousands of migrant drivers returns home via auto in Nagaland. The Myanmar government reportedly handed most wanted 22 militants of northeastern armed groups to Indian authorities at an undisclosed location on May 14. The insurgents were reportedly caught during the last few weeks in Sagain Division of Myanmar. We have a report. In the first, the Myanmar government handed over 22 northeastern insurgents to India on May 14. All the most militant groups in the northeast have been operating from the soil of Myanmar for a very long time. This is the first time that the Myanmar military Tatmadaw had responded to India's request and handed over any northeastern insurgent. This is the first occasion on which Myanmar government has acted upon following the intervention of National Security Advisor Ajit Doval. The insurgents were caught by the Myanmar army in Sagaing region. The insurgents are reported to be brought back in a special Indian Air Force plane under tight security cover. According to reports, 22 insurgents were brought back to Imphal, where 10 of them were taken to Guwahati and the remaining 12 were detained at the Regional Institute of Medical Sciences in Imphal. The 10 Democratic Front of Boroland Saraigra NDFBS and Kamatapur Liberation Organization KLO, who arrived in Guwahati on 15th of May, have been put in quarantine in a hotel in Assam. Right now, 12 people who came to Manipur were dropped here by the special aircraft, mm -hmm. and all of them are under uh, quarantine right now. Mm -hmm. Testing has been uh, taken, we are waiting for the results. 12. Of the 22 insurgents are linked to four insurgent groups in Manipur, the United National Liberation Front of Manipur, UNLF, People's Revolutionary Party of Kanglai Park, Pripak, Kanglai Yawal Kanaluk, KYKL, and People's Liberation Army of Manipur, PLA. The extremists include NDFBS Home Secretary Rajan Daimari, Sanatom Baning Thaujam of UNLF, and Pashuram Laishram of Pripak, and self-style captain Sansuma Basumatari of NDFBS. The remaining 10 are linked to Assam groups such as Democratic Front of Boroland Saraigra and Kamatapur Liberation Organization KLO. In January 2019, the Myanmar's military had carried out a series of operations against militants from the Northeast region. Around 24 militants belonging to Assam and Manipur were apprehended in the frontier areas. In a joint effort named Operation Sunshine 2, India and Myanmar forces destroyed northeast insurgent camps across the border last year in June. About 7 to 80 militants were apprehended by the Indian Army. The Assam government is on high alert as the number of positive cases for novel coronavirus rose steadily in Assam in the last few days. Various medical swab tests are also being conducted in many parts of Assam by health workers. Have a look. As the COVID-19 positive cases in Assam have doubled this week, the Assam government has increased swap testing for its citizens returning from outside the region, following which every individual symptomatic or asymptomatic are being tested for COVID-19. Many migrant laborers were seen in the queue to take the swab test conducted by health departments in fancy market. जो भी सरकार कर रही अच्छा कर रही है ये हम चाहेंगे कि सब जगह होना चाहिए टेस्टिंग जिससे कि बीमारी कम हो और सब जन को घर में सेफ रहना चाहिए. Since last week, many people ventured out of their homes to buy essential commodities as businesses gradually started to gain momentum. हमारा माननीय यहाँ का मुख्यमंत्री है सर्वानंद सोनवाल जी माननीय वित्त मंत्री है आपको हिमंत विश्व शर्मा जी उनको भी रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा जो हमारे लिए कुछ सोचे हम लोग बहुत 
बहुत बहुत बहुत मुश्किल में गिरे हुए द फर्स्ट स्पेशल श्रमिक एक्सप्रेस ट्रेन कैरिंग अराउंड टू हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी एट पैसेंजर्स स्टैंडर्ड एट तमिलनाडु अराइव एट बनीपुर रेलवे स्टेशन इन अपर असम डिब्रुगढ़ ऑन सेवेंटीन मे द हेल्थ ऑफिशियल्स कंडक्टेड थर्मल स्क्रीनिंग ऑफ पैसेंजर्स आफ्टर द अराइवल ऑफ द ट्रेन एट बनीपुर रेलवे स्टेशन Under the initiatives of the Assam Pradesh Congress Committee many laborers were sent off to their hometown from ISBT Guwahati As of May 19th the total patient count of COVID-19 in the state was 141 Assam Health Minister Himanta Sharma took to Twitter and mentioned that two positive patients were from the Sarusajai quarantine center अभी यहाँ में एम एम सी एच हॉस्पिटल में सुबह से अभी तक नौ लोगों को यहाँ लाया सब लोगों का सब लोग एसिम्टोमेटिक है किसी का बीमार नहीं है वो सबसे हम लोग के लिए अच्छा खबर है शर्मा ऑल्सो विजिटेड मेडिकल कॉलेज इन हेल्थ डिस्कशन विद डी सी एस पी प्रिंसिपल ऑफ द मेडिकल कॉलेज एंड डॉक्टर्स मूविंग ऑन टू त्रिपुरा With the economy of the country battered by month-long lockdown imposed to combat the deadly coronavirus, youths in Tripura are breaking a trend by successfully planting a special variety of apples in Agartala. The duo's efforts are perhaps the first successful personal initiative to grow apples in the state. Have a look. Amid life-threatening disease spreading all over the country and businesses reeling under the ongoing lockdown, two youths from Sipajila district, Samresh De Barma and Mujesh De Barma are successfully growing HRM and 99 and other variety apples in Amathali village in Agartala. However, in 2019 After watching different varieties of apple videos on YouTube, Samresh De Barma learned that apples can also be cultivated in hot climatic conditions. Inspired by the idea, he contacted nursery owners in Himachal Pradesh and Kolkata and later contacted experts in West Bengal and purchased two other varieties of apple trees, Anna and Dorset Golden in addition to HRNV99. यहाँ पे चार वेराइटी है अभी तक वेराइटी का है आ, नाम है एना एच आर एम एन नाइन्टी नाइन गोल्डन डोरसेट और ट्रॉपिकल ब्यूटी नाम का चार चार टाइप का यहाँ पे प्लांट हम लोगों ने प्लांट किया है यहाँ पे तो अभी एक, आ, 2019 का अप्रैल महीने में ये सब प्लांट किया था अभी एक साल ही हुआ है हाल हाल ही में तो अभी एक साल में काफ़ी सारे मतलब प्लांट में अभी फ्रूटिंग हो रहा है और काफ़ी सारा प्लांट में वो फ्लावरिंग भी हो रहा है तो करीब अभी सक्सेस मिल ही रहा है हम लोगों को तो अगले साल शायद और थोड़ा ज़्यादा फ्रूटिंग आने का चांसेस है The HRMN 99 variety apple was first named after a progressive farmer Hariman Sharma a revolutionary farmer also known as Apple Man from Panalia village of Himachal Pradesh who developed the apple variety seed This variety apple can be grown in low altitude at 1800 feet above sea level. After getting information about the experimental apple garden, the Directorate of Biotechnology of the Government of Tripura, which was already running a bio village project in the area, came forward and helped the young apple farmers with bio fertilizer, bio pesticide and technical assistance. This is the first time in Tripura. That's why we were quite interested in this project, and we gave a uh, technical assistance. And uh, they are applying the bio fertilizers in the apple field, and we have seen that perhaps even the bee box which we have provided, the bees are also helping in the pollination. The farmers and department are optimistic about the result of cultivation and are hopeful that in coming days the trees will yield more fruits to sustain the demand of the state. हम लोगों को काफ़ी सारा वो बायो का औषध मतलब मेडिसिन वगैरह वो फर्टिलाइजर वगैरह वो सब मिल रहा है सर से तो उन्होंने एट फ्यूचर भी बोला है जितना हो सके उन उनके तरफ से गवर्नमेंट के तरफ से वो हेल्प करने की कोशिश करेंगे 
The National Innovation Foundation India in 2015 planted around 10,000 saplings in various parts of the states, including Manipur, to study suitability and adaptability. The plantations had successful fruiting in Manipur, Madhya Pradesh and many other states. Let us now take a look at some of the events that made news in the Northeast recently. The troops of Indian Army in a joint operation with Arunachal Pradesh police apprehended a hardcore cadre of NSC and IM near Longpong village in Longning district. Based on a specific intelligence input, the joint team launched an operation in the forest located close to the village. During the search operation, the troops apprehended the cadre while trying to flee from the location. The apprehended cadre has been identified as SS Surgeon Major Puman Wangsu and is suspected to be involved in the assassination of an ex MLA and 10 other persons last year. To make learning more accessible amidst the lockdown, the Department of Education of Tripura has decided to provide 14,000 free textbooks to all Bengali medium private schools from class 1 to 8 at an estimate cost of Rs 60 lakh. Education Minister Ratan Lal Nath said NCERT have published textbook in three languages, Hindi, Urdu and English, but Tripura is the only and first state to translate all the NCERT textbooks into Bengali. At least 500 nurses hailing from Manipur and working in private hospitals in Kolkata submitted their resignations. Following this, they left for home states in batches, some on buses arranged by Manipur government, others via hired private vehicles to Imphal. According to sources, they reached their home state and will be sent for home or institutional quarantine. Kolkata is already reeling after 27 nurses resigned in Charnak Hospital, followed by 25 in Peerless Hospital, 16 in Fortis Healthcare and 10 each in Apollo Glenigals Hospitals and Sri Aurobindo Seva Kendra. With an aim to ease the shortage of quarantine centre in the state, over 100 local churches from various denominations in Mizoram have come forward to assist the government by offering their halls to be used as a quarantine facility. Apart from lending their halls, some local churches also provided foods, free Wi-Fi and library to the people. According to reports, Chanmari locality in Aizol also agreed to hire a hotel as a quarantine facility for people who have no room to quarantine in its locality. The cyclone which originated from the Bay of Bengal is predicted to move across Bangladesh towards Tripura. The IMD Agartala Centre has forecast that there will be thunderstorms accompanied by lightning, the gutsy wind speed reaching 40 to 50 km per hour and heavy rain falling the state on 20 and 21st of May. Tripura has alerted all its eight district magistrates and the damage assessment team has been set up at a community level. The state control room and district control rooms are being informed periodically about the movement of the cyclone. Hit by the ongoing lockdown, many migrant drivers in Nagaland have recently returned to their hometown in auto rickshaws. As Nagaland is free from COVID-19, close coordination is being maintained between different departments in the fight against the coronavirus. Due to the nationwide lockdown, many auto rickshaw drivers from Bihar and other states along with their family left for their home state in their three-wheelers through the light check post. Demapur is the commercial hub of the state, shares border with Assam. In Demapur, around 10,000 auto drivers are earning their livelihood. Out of these, around 8,000 are reported to be from Bihar. While some of them intend to come back after the situation becomes normal, others are not willing to come back. In the first phase, around 50 people left for their homes on the 16th of May. President of the Demapur District Auto Driver Union, Dito Yeptomi, said despite several requests not to leave, the auto drivers embarked on their journey home due to prevailing situation. Through this uh, union, we are trying to support them. We are telling them not, tell them not to go, but then they have no options, so they are leaving to Bihar. And then, please, 
everyone uh, take care like while, while they are traveling everyone in india please uh, serve them while they are on the way mm -hmm. at least give them water mm -hmm. or like uh, give them essential Finance assistance was also given to the drivers. The union leaders requested the auto drivers who have been here for 10 to 15 years to return to Nagaland as and when the COVID-19 situation returns to normal. Many Christians also joined the mass prayers led by Hindi Bethel Church. The congregation were seen on their knees praying with the country's flag on the road. To create more awareness amongst the masses on the importance of wearing masks, Deputy Commissioner Demapur Anup Kinchin IAS personally distributed washable cotton masks to the migrant workers and the poor and needy people in the street of Demapur city. Meanwhile, under the initiative of Town Youth Society and Chairman Forum Quarantine Centers, more like a camping site has been set up at ITI Peck for the stranded people who reached the state recently. Superheroes have a special place in the hearts of children and many youngsters, even when they grow up, can't let go of the fictional idols. In today's episode, let's have a look how a young boy from Manipur created a superhero Iron Man replica out of electronic waste. Enthralled by science and technology and Hollywood superheroes movies, a 20-year-old boy from Hairok Park to village in Manipur has created his superhero replica. Here, Ningombam Prem from Manipur has created his very own Iron Man costume out of electric waste. This young boy had no formal training or expertise in the field other than his observation-driven knowledge and he says watching Hollywood scientific movies enthralled him to make these replicas of superheroes. He had first constructed a demo model of the robot arm by using discarded emergency lamps at its arms and started planning to fit in the Iron Man armor. Most of these armors are made out of TV motors. While most of the body parts are made of cardboard, the armors are also made of discarded scrap materials, emergency lamps, electronic toys, syringes, speaker frames and even IV fluid tubes. Premson walks around pretending to be a superhero. Prem has now created several other robotic items similar to the mechanism of producing web from the hand like that of Spider Man's wave. Prem now efficiently repairs television, radio, and emergency lamps at home that would otherwise require the service of an electrician. So, Prem also helps his mother every evening in running their rice hotel. 
With that, we have come to the end of this episode of Roving Report. Do connect with us through our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter at anyindia underscore ani. Like and subscribe Roving Report YouTube channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get the latest news updates from the Northeast. I'm your host, Skyrim, signing off. Thank you for watching. Goodbye and take care.